Hi guys, this is Rakhi Jha. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do uh, an acrylic pour with you guys and I'm going to go light on these bright colors. I'm going to go heavy on these neutral colors. And all of these colors that you see here, my paint ratio is uh, one is to one, which is one part paint and one part um, pouring medium. This is a brushstro uh, pouring medium. I switch between um, brushstro and uh, Liquitex. I find that this pouring medium gives me a really nice gloss as well. So um, what I do is I use one part that, one part paint, and I thin it down with the uh, water that you see here um, to, you know, to a runny consistency. My blowtorch, my friendly hairdryer, um, which is what I like to do mostly. Um, so that's it, that's my setup. Um, I'm gonna pour white on this uh, board that you see over here, um, a solid wood um, uh, piece. And then uh, let's get started with the pour, okay? Okay guys, so I've already uh, poured the white all over. And um, while I was pouring the white, I decided that instead of doing one puddle, I might do two or three, uh, probably two, uh, maybe three, maybe a smaller one in the, uh, in the middle because this is a rectangle and it's a little bit bigger than my usual canvases. I think it's a 16 by uh, 20 or 24, well, maybe not 24, but um, about 20 inches. So, um, so let's try to do two puddles, blow it out in these two directions and see what we get. I'm going to go a little heavy on these colors and the neutrals. I might put a little red. I'm saving it. I might put a little red on the top as well. Okay, so let's go with this burnt umber. Okay, that should be enough. This one is your bronze. I like this color. And your gold. I might just go a little bit heavy on the gold and do a swirl. Okay, and then maybe I'll repeat this a little bit. I'll do a little bit of that red again like a deep red it's a very deep but bright color and then maybe a little bit of bronze and gold again and that looks like enough paint for the entire canvas even though I'm going to try to leave some of it maybe white you know negative space but we'll see how how the composition goes okay guys Let's blow this out. Pour the white around. I'm going to pour a little bit of white here and a little bit of white here because I feel that that's where the composition is going to go. Okay, guys. Let's get the white over. Blow this out.
colors, the way it's uh, uh, mixed together. Um, but it needs a little bit of tweaking here and there. So I'm gonna do that with my mouth and see if I can uh, get a better composition. a little white there I think that looks better it gives a little relief to the busyness and this is the only part that I'm not too happy about uh, it's a bit messy so I'm going to try to fix this with a little bit like this corner and I didn't like that little corner over there I want it to be uh, a bit more simpler so I'm going to pour some white I've just scraped it off I just need to uh, sort of fix this hard definition over here. And I think I might need to add a little bit more color here, otherwise I won't get that flow. There, a little gold, and a little bit of bronze. I'm not gonna use the brighter colors. Okay, cool. Now let's see what we get. Better, not great, but better. Let me fix it. Hey guys, I'm quite happy with this. I think I dropped a little bit something there. So there goes a the little bit of white. Okay, to get a more cleaner look. guys a lot of tweaking uh, but I think I'm finally happy with this um, as I predicted um, uh, the reds mixed with uh, metallics and browns always turn a little pink uh, but I think uh, this one um, uh, kept its color so let's take you in for a close-up so I did a little bit of gold because that was the um, the intention that it would be heavier on the metallics 
that's the center. I think that's beautiful with a little pop of that fluorescent red and a little bit of that aqua green um, just to balance things out a little bit. And then similarly, um, on the opposite end, I did a little bit of a gold end. I poured a little bit afterwards and did these. And that's the corner over there. I like the way, um, even though these colors become a little, a um, little bit, um, I would say, muddier or uh, mixed together more, but it still maintains um, a nice uh, pattern as it gets blown out. So that's it. Let's zoom you out. I made a mess. You can see that everywhere. Ah, but that happens sometimes. These colors are a little bit for me uh, hard to work with, but I think I'm happy. Hope you guys like it. Uh, please subscribe, please like, and see you in the next video. I'll show how this dart dries and I'll make it part of this video. Okay, have a nice day.